Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at destructuring arguments. In the operator tutorials, we have seen destructure assignment operator. Now, in this lecture, we will understand destructure arguments. Destructuring is a convenient way to extract values from data in the object or array. Using the example, you will understand how to use destructured arguments. For example, so I will create an object here. So I will just specify constant O is equal to and in the curly braces, I will specify three properties. So I will say W1 and then specify daily. Then I will specify second property W2 tuition and i will specify third property so i will say w3 tutorials after that i just wanted to create a function that return these three properties to its caller right so i will say function get data and here in the argument i will specify the structure assignment operator so in this curly braces i will specify argument so i will say w1 comma w2 comma w3 so now here these arguments are completely distinct from the object properties now in the body of this function i will say return and i will just return these three arguments using backtick right so i will say return and in the back tick, I will first specify first argument, then specify second argument, and then specify my third argument. Now I will just say console.log and print object properties on the console. So I will say get data. So here I will call the function, and in the parameter, Without specifying each property, I will just specify the object. So I will just specify O here. So when you execute this statement, you will get a daily tuition tutorials message on the console. Now in this example, we are just extracting different properties from the object using the structured arguments. Keep in mind your arguments are valid identifier. Using the destructure arguments, you can extract multiple values in the object at a time. You can do the same thing with array also. For example, I will declare an array here. So I will say constant arr is equal to and in the square bracket, I will say daily comma tuition comma tutorials. After that, I will create a function. So I will say function get data. So we will say square bracket and in the square bracket, we will declare three arguments. So I will say w1, comma, w2, comma, w3. And I will just return these three arguments using backtick operator. Right? Now I will just call this function in the console.log. So I will say console.log and call this function using the function name. So I will say get data. And in the parameter, I will specify array. So I will say ARR. So when you execute this statement, you will get the same output on the console. Because the structure arguments extract the values and display that values on the console. So here you need to understand one thing which is when you create the destructure array argument you need to specify square bracket and when you want to extract values from object you need to specify curly braces in the destructure arguments. Now using destructure arguments we extract values from the array right. Now we will move to the next topic call method. You will be wondering what is call method. Call 
is just a method available on all functions that allow you to call the function with a specific values of this keyword. In this topic, we will take a small example that gives you an understanding of the use of call method with this keyword. For example, I will create a function here. So I will say function magic and in the body of this function, I will specify return keyword and return some message. So I will say welcome to using interpolation. I will just say this dot name. Right, so I will just call the property of object. But we did not specify any object here. We call the object using call method, right? You will see after a few minutes. After that, we'll create two objects. So I will say constant obj1 is equal to and in the curly braces, we specify name daily and we'll specify second object. So I will say constant obj2 and in the curly braces we we'll specify name tuition now using console.talk we will first call the function so i will say magic using the dot operator we will call the call method so i will say dot call and in the parenthesis here i will specify parameter for the call method so here we specify object. So when you execute this, you will get welcome to delete on the console. So using this example, we wanted to show you how to access object within the function only with this keyword. So here you can see we call magic method and using dot operator, we call call method and specify object in the parameter. So now using call method, this keyword bound to the call object so it means this keyword refers to the object which is specified in the argument so if you specify second object in the call method parameter then you will get welcome to tuition right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more conveniently that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial.